Welcome back guys, I decided to go ahead and pick up basically almost where I left off. We have started working on field 38, no, that's uh, 33? So <clears throat> the combine is just going to town over there, picking up all the coffee, which is filling the tank up real quick. So I'm just trying to get as much done here before it starts to rain, as you can see there on the on the forecast, rain is about to start any minute now, so try to get as much done as I can. As I was going to say, and I think I was going to say something on the last video as well, and I was like, oh, I'll talk about it later. And of course, I don't remember what... Oh, I was talking about... I was going to talk about Escape from Tarkov. Um, really, it's it's a, a game with a lot of potential. Um, the downside is, and I don't know at this point if they have fixed it or not, is if you have any peripherals plugged in, joysticks, side panels, wheels, things like that, if you have any of those, even track IR, if any of that is plugged in, um, you're basically unable to play. Your player starts walking around in a circle and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, really, really, really annoying. Uh, so I bought this switch. It's a seven port switch, basically. It's got on off buttons. Um, and so I'm able to turn all of those items off and play Escape from Tarkov. But now either the switch is going bad or the USB ports on the PC are going bad or with the re recent Windows update it doesn't want to recognize anything like this. I don't know. But now I'm getting... I've had to unplug the wheel and put that back in the computer in order for it to work. I just did that with the joystick so it would work. So there are starting, I'm starting to see some issues here where my peripherals, my plugins here are not going to work right. And I really can't explain why that is. I don't know why. So if anyone else has had that issue, please, by all means, let me know what I need to do. But uh, it, it also means I can't play Escape from Tarkov unless I go behind the computer and unplug everything, which I really don't want to do. You know, there's a lot of USB stuff I get plugged in back there, and I don't really like unplugging stuff and having to go back and go and unplug it back in again. So, really annoying. But then again, I can't remember the last time I actually played Escape from Tarkov. It has been a little while now, because the game still needs a lot of work. But it's a game that has a lot of potential, so if you guys like first-person shooters, really challenging first-person shooters then you're going to want to keep an eye out for this one. It's got a lot of potential, and, you know, I'm going to take over for this guy. I'm going to drive this thing. It's got a lot of potential, um, so well worth checking out and keeping an eye on if you don't purchase it. But uh, until they can fix that bug, that's just very, very annoying to me, so. I'll stick with PUBG. As frustrating as it is. Alright, now I will go ahead and tell him to drive the course. Because then I can go ahead and jump in the f sprayer over here and get him to work as well. Gotta start the engine first. Wait a minute, why am I using him? Turn the fold. Wrong button. I've got a dry spreader. What am I smoking? Usually you don't spray fields like this. You use a dry, dry fertilizer. And he still wants to do 50 miles an hour. I don't know why. Train 3 just... It doesn't want to listen. It'll do... I'll jump in it. And it'll slow down to where it's supposed to be. And then... It is... Okay, no, screw you. I'm going to go fast again. It's like, dude. What the hell? Alright, wait a minute. Where's my... John Deere? Where is he? I didn't take him to the other farm. There he is. Where? Where are you? Oh, you're over there! 
Oh, I never brought you back. Okay. Because so I was going to have him do these fields as well. I really, yeah. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these fields. Oh yeah, I can't hire a worker with this guy. Almost forgot. I can't tell if it's taking or not. This stuff doesn't even look like it's grown. I don't think it's taking. Over here. Soil company. Yeah, it's not taking it. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Well, back over to my farm because I can definitely use this guy on my fields. The hell? Oh, there's my dry spreader. This is this is where it was when the game saved, I guess. <laughs> He's just sitting here by himself. Do 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 do. Alright, so control F, have him follow, jump in. No, I don't really need him because I forgot I have this guy, the Rogator. So this little guy is kind of a moot point, unless I want to double team field, you know, knock out more fields at once. Have one work on one and the other one work on another one. I don't think I'm quite there yet. I'm getting there. He didn't finish that field. Why is he saying he's finished? My ass. This is just more time I can't afford to lose. And once again, I got reset. Something, I must have a bad key binding here or something. Where it's causing the cruise. They go up and down. There. Now don't stop this time, dickhead. Where's the other one? There he is. I'd really like to see this thing get updated with some softer suspension. These things don't ride hard like that. They can they float pretty damn nicely. Okay, why can't I bring up Oh, there we go. Hitting the wrong button.
I'll take a screenshot of that. Oh, wait. Try it again. There we go. Screenshot. Gotta get rid of the lines. I wonder if I can use course play with this guy. I don't remember if I've tried it or not. I'll try that in another another time. For now, I'll just focus on getting these fields done. I think I did try it. But then again, sometimes it's just nice to actually have control over the vehicle and do it yourself. Besides, the important stuff is getting done by those guys. I really do love seeing real-world equipment like this, though. I mean, yeah, a lot of stuff that's already in-game, stock with the game, is real-world, but... You know, this right here, this is more closer to home for me. Seeing these guys, I mean, in fact, we've been passing... Not the John Deere ones, but uh, since the snow's been on the ground, they've been uh, dropping a lot of the uh, potash down on the ground. So when the snow melts... It, the fields soak it right up, absorb it right in. So uh, the potash, is, if I remember right, that's potash. It's uh, kind of like a reddish, pinkish color to it. And, it, you know, it, it is basically fertilizing the field. And uh, so since the snow's been on the ground, they've been dropping a lot of that, and we've been passing a lot of the... I don't remember who the manufacturer is. They're not cat, but they are closer to the cat colors. They are orange or yellowish, somewhere in that, you know, spectrum between those colors. And so we've been passing a lot of them on the road, uh, you know, to and from work. But they got the, the road tires on and everything. They're a little wider. A little wider than these. These tires here are meant for crops where the tires on the units that we've been seeing are more off-road-like. I think they're a little too wide for crop use. I think they're about a foot wide. So I think that's a little too wide. I, th I, I might be wrong. I've seen narrower, though. You know, and the only drawback for this game here is a lot of the stuff that they include in-game is European more than American. I mean, this is a very hugely popular game over in Europe. If you guys ever play online, you'll notice when you're selecting your servers, 
Germany has two. Two different uh, areas. You got international, continental, I think. And then there's two Germany. So, I mean, this is a hugely popular game over there. But, uh... You know, it, it's very popular here in the States, and I know they know that. But, I mean, they got farm cons over there and everything, so... You know, Giants is really a major player over there. And Focus Interactive, and, uh... You know, I don't know if they do a lot of, you know, what is, how does America do it kind of stuff, you know. I don't know if they've really uh, looked into that. But I know, I mean, they do acknowledge that it, the game is hugely popular here as well. Uh, well. Maybe not hugely, but it is a very popular game here. But, uh, you know, it, I don't know. It just seems like... Eh... I want to say they're they're more you know obviously they're still focused on the European stuff more than they are in American and that's fine I understand that but uh, you know thankfully to mods we're able to make things a little more American for us you know we don't have to have the warning labels you know that's you know that's the size of a drive the front window all over the vehicle like they do in Europe um, you know we can have more of what we would see here in our fields, regardless of wherever you're at in the country, whether you're in California or you're here in the Midwest or, you know, you're over uh, in the South, you know, it, it, different equipment for different areas and uh, different priorities for different areas. And that's the other thing, you know, to keep in mind. I've seen it on, a on ATS. I've seen a little bit of it here. You know, people... You know, oh well, that's not how we do it here. You know, so you're that's not real. Yeah, it is real because I just saw it working out in the field just outside of town yesterday. You know, um, I've seen it with trailers. People were, oh well, that's not a real trailer. You know, this and that, and whatever. And it's like, yeah, that is a real trailer. It's a trailer. It's out in California. You're going to see it on the West Coast. You're not going to see it. Uh, you know, over in New York State or something. Um, you know. The Moose and I have had that conversation often as well about farming down there where he's at in Alabama compared to farming where I'm at or where Mobius is at because I'm in Illinois and Mobius is in Minnesota. Um, you know, the way farmers up here work their fields is different than how farmers down there in Alabama work their fields. And on top of that, you know, farmers down there in Alabama, they can farm all year round. Whereas up here, not, not so much. You know, you'll have... Uh, some farmers, they'll, they'll plant their winter wheat, so they harvest and then they'll turn around and drop wheat into the ground and, you know, it'll start growing a little bit and then finish growing uh, early next year and when, when spring comes and then, uh, you know, they're able to get an early harvest in on that once it's all ready to go, but, um, you know, for moose, they'll, they'll, they plant all year round and, uh, you know, that, that's just how it goes in the South, and, and you know, that's fine. Um, you know, we, we've discussed the different techniques when it comes to cultivating and plowing fields, and, um, you know, in different terms for different areas, you know. And, you know, case in point with the game here, it, you look at the plows, they're all V-plows. And we don't use that here in the Midwest. In, in, in Illinois and... I think even Mobius said in his area that, you know, they don't use that. I can still count on one hand how many times I have. And I've, I've been around farm fields for probably half my life. And unfortunately, my grandfather's not around anymore to to confirm or deny this. But he was a, he was a farmer. Um, my father grew up on a farm, so I could probably ask him. But uh, I, I can still count on one hand how many times... Uh, I have seen V plows used on a field, and one of them was actually a couple of years ago, I think. And the guy was uh, turning over a field of grass, and that was it. You know, it had it had it been wild grass, maybe he might have been used. I think he might have been using it for alfalfa or something like that for for the animals. Uh, he'd cut it and then roll it into bales, 
But uh, other than that, you know, as of recently, I can that's the only time I can remember seeing a V-plow actually get used on a field. Um, but I guess down in Moose's area, they use it They use it quite often. I, I you know, I, I don't know. Um, up here, it's all disc. And, you know, I, I know I've discussed this before, and you guys have chimed in, you know, what, what happens in your area, so... Um, you know, that's, that's one of the amazing things is just how different things are, uh, in every area, in every area, from one side of the nation to the other. Uh, in, in, in go, every area, I mean, as far as farming, trucking, uh, even fast food, for example, you know, McDonald's, I've heard, has, like, clam chowder or something out on the East Coast. You know, that's not something you would ever see here in the Chicagoland area. Um, you know, there's going to be different items on a menu for Burger King and McDonald's than they're, you know, depending on the region, than you would see in other regions. So, um, you know, it's stuff like that is interesting. And it's, it's, it's things like that that a lot of us don't really think of. You know, for, yeah, okay, many of us don't care. You know, it's not going to ever affect us. We're never going to, you know, whatever. But, you know... It's easy for people to sit there and think that it's the, it, the way it is here is the way it's going to be everywhere else. And when and I've seen it way too often, people fight that. Well, we don't do that here, so you're doing it wrong. No, you know, you, you, Indiana, uh, for example. A lot of their stoplights are held up by cables. Here in Illinois, it's a it's a column and it, with a bar that hangs over the road and holds on to the stoplights. And in Indiana, a lot of their stoplights are held up on you know poles uh, or, or beams or whatever you know that, like uh, like some of the the uh, highway ramp signs that you see is there's a pole on both sides and a beam that goes all the way across holds the signs same thing here with the lights uh other areas in indiana i've seen where it's just a a beam on each side and then cables strung across and the lights hang on the cables um you know i don't see that here in illinois very often uh, very very rarely for example but you know it, what, is people here in Illinois going to say, oh, you don't have your lights mounted correctly, and, you know, stoplights aren't mounted that way, and blah, 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 you know. It, you know, we get so accustomed to what we see in our own neck of the woods that every time we go somewhere else, it's, oh, no, you're doing it wrong. No, you know, because those guys can come along and say, no, you're doing it wrong. You know, it, it's just, to me, it's closed-minded. That's all it is. That, that's what I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at here. It's closed-minded, and you know we have to be understanding to the fact that the way it is in our world, in our neck of the woods, is not the way it is everywhere else. And I've had people make comments in the past videos. Well, that's not how you do it, or that's not what we do here. Well, I mean, I don't live where you're at, so you know, I because I, yeah, why well, why don't you plow? Because I'm playing the game towards what we do in here in my area. You know, I'm not going to play the game fitting a, an area that I don't know. You know. I'm going to play what I'm accustomed to. And that's that. And I'm sure you guys do the same thing. You play your games to what you're accustomed to. Or maybe you just say, screw it, I'm going to play the game the way Giants intended it, regardless of, you know, what it's like in the real world. You know, maybe they do use the V-plows over in Europe on every, you know, turning of the season. Maybe they, Maybe that's how they do it, I don't know. The way the game was intended is you're supposed to plow every three times or so, and then cultivate. And, you know, obviously cultivate every time. Um, you know, here, as I've said before, we don't use the V-plows. We disc, and depending on what was planted, uh, we'll determine 
what they do. I mean, some farmers don't, especially after soybeans, for example, they... Well, I've seen it done both soybeans and with corn, so maybe it's determined on what they feel the, far the field needs. But there's been times where, regardless of whether it's been the soybean or corn, because that's the main two crops that are grown here, wheat as well, but uh, in my area it's, it's corn and soybean, uh, it, they don't always plow it or, or cultivate. You know, they don't. They just leave it as is, and then they come along the next year and drop seed in, and that's it. Um, there's been fields where they only do certain sections because that's where a lot of the traffic went. So there was a lot of soil compaction because of the trucks that were driving in the field or, you know, the equipment that was in the field. So they'll uh, go over certain sections just to help break up the soil. And uh, then there's time, it's, I've seen it on the soybeans and even in some corn fields where they'll lower the disc just a couple inches. So basically, they're just raking the ground, if you will. You know, they're barely making a scratch. You know, it's just enough to kind of dig into the soil just a little bit. They're not really turning it up. It looks like they're just almost like aerating it, to be, to be honest. You know, they're kind of aerating it a little bit, and that's it. So, you know, it, I'm not a farmer, so I really couldn't say why they do what they do. But, uh... You know, from what it looks like, I mean, that, that, that's the best I can describe it. And then there are times where they'll lower those discs all the way. And uh, I've seen farmers just go to freaking town on it and just tear the whole field up. So maybe it's dependent, dependent on what, had, what they've done previous seasons on the field. Um, I don't know. All right, there is a chase. Do I have one or should I set one up? I don't have one. Okay. Ah, there it is, 33 deer spread. And I'm on the wrong side. Probably starts... Where do I have them starting? Hmm. Well, let's find out. Drive course. Uh, all right, he starts all the way down here. So I'm going to stop him. I'm going to take control. I'm going to put him right here, so that way he'll be ready. Now, I think there was an option here. Someone said there was. I'm not seeing it though. Someone said there was an option to where you can make it to where they won't. Uh, they'll stop spraying when they get to the edge of the field, but I don't see it. Let's get him going. Let's see what he does when we get to the end of the field there.
Well, at least he turned it off. Good. Turned it off a little too soon, though, in my opinion. Eh, oh well. Alright, let me get this harvester moved. Oh, now he's gonna start going. Stop, driver. Oh, time for me to mute my mic. Wife's getting home, so the dog's probably gonna start losing his mind. I need to change headers again, too. I think I'm going to leave this one right over here, though, because the other fields... I'm going to need them. So let's run over here, grab this field down here first. Mad dash, here we go. The trees are already turning too. You can see some of the trees are already turned into autumn colors. the end here so he can have to room to turn.
Alright, hire this guy, get him going. There we go. He's good to go. sent that trailer flying. I was about to go over and, you know, empty out the corn there, but then I realized, hey, I still got 1,600 left, so let's find something to dump this off into. I'll worry about it later. There we go. Now we're empty. Can't get to the field going that road. I gotta come around this way. This will be perfect timing for this guy. As you can see, if you can see up there in the corner, he's at 74% full. All because of the stumps, he's still going to turn around. He still sees trees. Maybe I'll do that this winter. Oh, well, then again, the snow is probably going to cover everything up. Got to get rid of these stumps. And finding stumps in the snow can be a pain in the ass. I still have to get a plow into the game as well. I've had some recommendations, but I really haven't looked any of them up. I don't know if I'm really going to waste my time, you know, plowing everything. We'll see. I haven't quite thought about it yet. I was focused on getting work done here on the farms and factories. Okay, so he's up. Good. Let me jump over here and get you. Okay, you're done. Fine. Stop driver. Delete that one. I'm done with everything else here for this guy. Stop driver. Let's load him up over at 36. I have one, don't I? Thought I did.
Is it this one? Let's find out. Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Thirty seven truck, but that's not it. Thirty six, maybe? What's this? Yep, that's him. Puts him where he should be. Good. So there's a stop sign down there. So let me come back over here. He's only 45%. Should speed him up instead of doing just six. Now he's gonna do nine miles an hour. That's a little better. It's better than three. Better than six.
lowering this down the game speed one has really helped I don't think I would be able to get all this stuff done and I don't even know if I will be able to get all this stuff done still what four fields to go uh, let's see 36 9 7 and 8 still have to get harvested so I could still very well not get everything done but I'm, I'm positive I wouldn't have gotten everything done if I had kept the game speed up. Alright, so he's done. Time to run him over. To the other field. And get him going. Maybe I should add some little drama to this and actually speed up the time. But that would probably be interesting for you guys. Does he get it done? beat that. Now this one, let's get the field 37, 36. He's done offloading, I'll have him drive the course. We'll have you offload. Where's that train right now? He's all the way over there. Okay, good. My guy's gonna be safe then. He won't get rammed. Let's go for a ride.
Even though that axle's up, it's still turning like it's down. Nope, no, it stopped because it hit the brakes. It's not spinning as fast as the other ones, though. So maybe, up oh, there's the brakes again. I was going to say maybe it's going to slow down on its own accord. At its own speed. Damn it, come here. No, wait, wait, wait. Crap. Why is he saying he's blocked? Stupid AI. Just doesn't want to work. So I'm going to run over here. I don't remember if I put corn. I think I got corn over here on field nine. Why is this still showing growth status millets harvested? Yeah, that's corn over there. Okay. Did I put corn on those other ones? No. Hemp. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's glitched out. Tell me the growth status. Awesome. Going good. Going good. So, I think this might be a good point to go ahead and wrap it up here. I'll probably knock out one more here with the other fields, the other three fields, and then uh, probably go back to normal time here, let the rain come through. We'll see. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one here. I know I, I am going to go back to a normal time here, like f five or whatever, but... Uh, Still some work to get done. Speaking of work, let's check out. Now what's going to happen here? Because I've had a glitch here in the past. Where I'm not able to pick up the final... It looks like it's all done. The box is gone and everything. Can I load up? 1908? 1990? Okay, there we go. And it should be good to go. This should be 100% built. I've had a glitch in the past where... I'm not able to pick up the final piece of gold or whatever. It's like one or two that are still sitting here. The box is still showing, but I'm not able to load it up. I had to go offload the truck and then come back and pick it up. And then everything would be finally open and ready to go. So this looks like it is ready to go. I don't know what the big X is there for. Maybe it's not ready to go. I don't know. Hmm. But black cat bird seed does seem to be fully operational so this winter I will be coming through here and see I do be not, turning around in here is a pain in the ass it'd be nice if you can just come straight out drive straight through but yeah this winter I will be running material over here to black cat oh excuse me black cat birdseed sunflower corn millet coal is what I need and I have all those items that's why I was just growing those over there so something to do Something to stay busy with, and yeah, we'll go from there and all that stuff. Don't know if I'll do any logging this winter, because once the snow falls, it's going to cover up the ground. It's going to make it difficult to log, unfortunately. Um, same for stump grinding. That's going to be difficult to do as well. 
Uh, what else can I do this winter? Obviously plow. I'll probably do cultivating, although normally in the winter you don't do any cultivating. You park all your equipment and then you sit and wait. So we'll see. But that is going to be it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure you check down in the description for the mods link doc that's down there, as well as links to Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. So follow me over there on the social media and watch the live streams and check out more farm sim material. So until next time, take it easy.